Do you want to live to be 100, but in a nursing home the last 20 years of your life? I didn't think so. so I'm Dr. Steve Kopetsky, a preventive cardiologist at Mayo Clinic, and after surviving two bouts of cancer, I tried to find out what types of behaviors people could adopt to avoid disease, avoid illness, and live a long life. Now let's get into it. How long you live is your age span. So you live to be 100 years old, then your age span is 100 years. But your health span is different. It's how long you're healthy, how long you have your facilities. You can walk, you can talk, you can be with people, understand things, do the things you want to do. If you have disease, diabetes, heart disease, heart failure, dementia like Alzheimer's, cancer, then your health span stops. So what you want to do is have your health span to be long and your age span to be long. At the beginning of the 1900s, the average age span was about 46 years, and the health span was about the same. Throughout the 1900s, our age span rapidly expanded. So our age span got up to about 78, 76, 78, but our health span didn't keep up. It was 20 years shorter. So that means the last 20 years of our life, we had health problems that keep us from doing the things we want. Nobody wants that had a patient the other day that said, I want you to live to be 100, and I want you to be healthy, active, and vital up until the last three days of your life. He said, Doc, why stop at 100? I want to make it to 120. <laughs> I said, great attitude. He said, how do I do it? A lot of it is your genes, but you can overcome genes with your lifestyle, meaning what you do every day, how you eat, how physically active you are, how you handle your stress, how much activity you do, like exercise. Take it easy on alcohol, a drink a day. Take it easy on smoking and vaping, which means none. Handle your stress, make sure you get healthy sleep. All those things add together to increase your age span and increase your health span. It's important to remember even tiny things over a lifetime do great benefit to your health span and your age span. So I tell patients no matter what you do, it's never too little to make your health better and make your life longer. And no matter what you do, it's never too late to make your health better and make your life longer. Fortunately, studies have shown that if you change your lifestyle throughout your life, you make your age span longer, but you also make your health span start to catch up with your age. That means that your life is gonna be longer, you're gonna be able to be more active, do the things you wanna do. So it's not a fait accompli, it's not a definite when you're born what these things are going to be. You can affect them with the way you live your life. Be as healthy as you can doing the things we're talking about here today. To learn more about this topic and so much more, check out my book, Live Younger Longer, written by me, Dr. Stephen Kapetsky. You can find the book at mcpress.mayoclinic.org or wherever you buy books. Thanks for listening. See you next time.